Hi Trinity Room, Amber Freeland here. It's going to be a special, special live tonight. I will take my time and see who's going to join live. If you catch this on the replay, please let me know. If it's your first time here, welcome to the Trinity Room where we discuss, harness, all of the above, the trifecta of mind, body, and spirit. Hello, Laura. Alethea, Tamika, Erin. Hello, ladies. Ladies first, I see. All right, awesome. Tasha's here. Beautiful. You guys are right on time. Thank you so much. What do you think of the decorations tonight? <laughs> Lauren's here. Beautiful. I'm so excited to convene. I'm just starting to shuffle some cards. <clears throat> I have a little frog in my throat. Let me grab my water. But let me know how you're doing, please. Hello, Jessica. I really can't wait to convene. I can't wait to dive deep. I have a feeling some really special insight is going to come through tonight. I have a lot on my mind. I have a lot of lessons I'm excited to teach in all of our platforms and premium group. I've got some really cool ideas. Trinity's here, welcome. So, gosh, there's just so much stirring. Bridget's here. Everybody's here. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see who joins next. See if the family from back in Vegas joins. We shall see. I'm traveling right now, as most of you know. Hello, Kay. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you. Awesome. Bridget, I see your hearts. Ha, ah, beautiful. Laura, you're going birthday shopping in 30 minutes? That'll be fun. Hmm, what is this insight that wants to come through? All right, Charmin's with Mama Sherry. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Leslie's here. Hello. It's been a really cool couple of days. I'm gonna share a story with you. I don't even know where to begin. I do want to see who. I want. I do want to wait another minute for people to join. Hello, Lisa. Good to see you. Happy holidays. <sighs> I'm feeling peaceful already. And then the last time we went live, I was talking about the word of the year for 2020. Hello, Allison, welcome. It's peaceful or peace for me. Uh, I know Tasha's got, creating some beautiful things. In fact, I'll talk to you in the morning in regards to 2020. Um, so, Anyone, was anyone there last time I went live and did anyone think about their word for this coming year? And you know, how are you guys feeling? I really wanna know how you're feeling because yeah, Trinity life has been amazing. Such a beautiful holiday season. Best I've had in over a decade, Aaron, congrats. I know the feeling. Serious congrats. So there's so much coming up in regards to manifesting lately and Christian's teachings and I'm I'm pretty sure he'll want to do some incredible things in premium this week in regards to um, manifesting and on a much deeper level um, I was there abundance is my word that's right Tabitha and welcome I see you there happy to have you Michelle's here yes yeah, so you guys let me know what word you're f yeah Charvin said abundance too I remember that mama Sherry and how about you joy Am I right? You mentioned joy. I miss you ladies with all my heart and soul. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome. So a lot has been coming up. I do, I do want to, I do want to share some golden nuggets with you all in regards to what we've learned about manifesting through the feeling as opposed to the tangible item that you're wanting to call into your life. Trinity says, I haven't decided on a word yet, but I know it's going to reveal itself soon. Yes. Yes. That one word, you know? <laughs> Peace and joy, Mama Sherry says. Where's the fire? It's, it's in our heart and soul. <laughs> I should have turned it on. I didn't turn it on, but it sure would be beautiful. I know. I know. That would be so cool. I should probably turn it on. 
I don't know where the switch is. It's just a flip the switch thanks to technology and the convenience of life in 2019, right? <laughs> awesome. Can't wait until you're back. Thank you, mama. Excited for the new year, 2020. Abundance, transformation, and joy. Awesome. So, deep insight coming this year and in the next coming couple of days and couple of weeks in regards to how we manifest through the feeling, okay? It is not, it's not the cliche way that we've heard this a million times about getting into the feeling and manifesting. It's also not about manifesting the tangible item that we want but there is so much value in looking at what you honestly want to bring into your life. The house, the money, cars, relationships, vacations, things. Why are we here in this physical body to experience these things? And I know we've done a lot of subconscious reprogramming around even being okay with having all of these things because people have blocks come up around even wanting things. And we get to clear that out. I know we've done a lot of it in premium. We've done a ton of it in quantum entrepreneur and in regards to success and bringing in amazing things into our lives. And when we take that to a deeper level and we look at what we get out of having that thing, what is the emotion that we feel? And when we do a couple of special processes that Christian has really mastered this week, then we get down to the root feeling, the emotion, and we're able to rapidly manifest in that way. More than you've heard before, I promise you, there's something there that's really, really powerful. And I think that's where the collective is heading. And I do wanna give a special shout out to Trinity today. She is the master of taking those lessons stepping into courage through intuition and creating even more value through what she's learning. And it has honestly changed my life this week. And, um, you know, a lot of you know that Trinity is our first certified subconscious reprogramming student and dear, dear friend and part of the team, soul sister for life. Um, but I, I really want to give a shout out to her this week because as the teacher and the guide, Sometimes I have the honor of being the student so that clients can step into their purpose and practice. And I'm just sitting here this week going, how on earth did I get so lucky and how am I so blessed to be on the other end of this incredible healer's process of healing me? How on earth did I get so blessed, right? It's crazy. It's I'm so beyond words grateful, Trinity. I dedicate this to you. I'm so grateful for you. And I'll tell you what, it really is about hearing the call, stepping into your intuition, because that's what we have to do as healers, even though we have the tools. <laughs> Thank you for sending love her way. I see all of your hearts and, and comments. But there is a there is a point where the healer steps into the courageous place where they hear the call and they choose to, to put it into the world, whether they know or not that it will be effective, whether they know or not that it'll help, whether they know or not that they are on track, they're always on track. And when that light bulb goes off, what a gift, what a gift. <laughs> So anyone here feeling like, you know, I'm meant for more too, and I would love to do that, and I feel that way, but I don't know what to do with it. You guys reach out. Please reach out. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those things where, from my experience, people always step into their purpose more quickly than they think they will. <laughs> awesome. Laura says, I do. Orpha's here. Hello. Love you too, Trinity. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Thank you. Allison shared this video out. Thank you so much. If you know someone that would like this message or if you guys share this with any like-minded communities regularly, 
take the time now to share this out pretty please and I will shuffle our cards. I really want to channel some messages in regards to stepping into 2020 with the power of manifesting through the emotion. And if you think about it, go ahead and take a minute. Think about what emotion comes when you are going to have that thing that you've, you've been manifesting. And has anyone been manifesting? Let me just be clear. Has anyone been trying to manifest something, maybe throughout 2019, that hasn't come to fruition yet? Maybe you haven't been using the subconscious reprogramming tools. Maybe you haven't been utilizing all of the tools that we discuss here. And maybe you've been wishing things into place or whatever, whatever you're doing. Let me know if there's something that hasn't come yet that you're excited to call in. Tasha says, so blessed to be here with all of you. Thank you so much. Trinity says, please reach out. The world needs you to step into your purpose, however your purpose looks. No one can do it. No, wait. No one can do it the way the world needs you to do it. Exactly. Well stated. Hello, Annette. Tabitha shared. Thank you so very much. Are you guys ready to let the emergency break off in 2020? I am just so fulfilled right now. I feel my heart is so full. I have learned so much. Oh man, why do I keep getting emotional this year? At the end of this year, ooh, I feel the wet eyeballs. <sighs> Colorado, that is my purpose. Laura, I, and I don't know if Tasha and Laura, you guys have connected privately, but yeah, oh, there it goes. Tasha says, come on over, Laura. Yeah, yeah. Time to thrive, Allison says. I love that. Yes, it is. A vroom, Aaron said. Let's let off the e-break, okay, you guys? Let's do it. What have you been calling in that hasn't come quite yet? I would really love to know. Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. Estes Park is Laura's destination. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm sure Tasha and, and you can get together and have some good old fun there. So, the, the topic of letting off the e-break in 2020. What is that one thing? I'm really inviting you guys to share if you're called to. Share what it is that has not come to fruition quite yet that you're committed to no matter what calling in in 2020. Because I really, really, really love helping people to manifest. And I think there are some dead end ways to do that. And there are some really powerful ways to do that. Dolphy's here. Welcome. Real love and relationship. Awesome. Loving that word thrive. Yes. I love that word. Beautiful. What are we calling in? Hello, Cody. Everyone, if I may, would you send some love to Cody? He was a little more tired and sore, I think, than normal today. And yeah, he's looking better now. But I think a good old intense love session on the Cody cat would be just so much appreciated. I did almost take him for a visit today. I did. And um, I think he's got a little tummy ache and I think he's got some sore hips, maybe. 16 years old, about to turn 17. So um, any love and support, positive vibes would be just truly appreciated. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you guys very, very much. He came out to say hi. He knows you all are here. <laughs> all right, so let's see, let's see what the, the Archangel Oracle cards have to say, have to tell us about what we're bringing in in 2020. I really seriously love to know what you guys are calling it. 
Certain dreams make my tinnitus louder. Hello there, Louie. I think that's how you say your name. We know some animal healers. Yes, we do, Trinity. Charmin. <laughs> Charmin, Trinity needs some healing. All right. I have that deck somewhere, Allison? It's a good one. I'm just loving talking to you guys. I'm putting off shuffling these. I'm, I'm consciously putting it off. <laughs> Feed Cody alkaline water. Mm. Thank you, Tabitha. Thank you. Yeah, we're traveling. So truth is he's been eating some snacks. Ability to travel more while living my purpose. Tasha said, yes, yes, yes. Debbie Crusoe, welcome. Happy to see you here. All right. So, feeling the intense call to just speak and share so much with you guys. I'm gonna, I'm going to give myself permission to center here in this moment. If you're in a place where you'd like to, close your eyes and join in. Um, and of course, I get a message I can't help but hear. Crystal says, entrepreneurship, conscious mentorship. I'd love to continue on this path of ascension. I'd love a card for my journey. Beautiful crystal. We specialize in all of those things. I'm really happy that you're here. If you haven't heard of Quantum Entrepreneur, let me know. We have so many gifts to give you and so much information to guide you on into what you might need next and how we can serve you. Cody's holiday eating, exactly. He's had cookies and he's had snacks. Cody eats wet food and he's been eating crunchy food and he's also been eating what we call cookies. Cat treats that he doesn't get. He's he's like, a, I told my mom, he's, he eats at Whole Foods, not McDonald's. <laughs> he's been having some, some snacks and I, I think it just, it upset his tummy, poor guy. So. <laughs> Crystal says, amazing, I'm ready. Yes, Crystal, I'd love to connect with you privately. So let's see. Let's see what Spirit has to say about 2020 for us here. And in just this finalization of the year phase. And what's it going to take to sit still and be quiet? What's it going to take to center for a minute? Calling in Archangel Gabriel. Vishnu and Lakshmi are here, Ascended Masters. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I, I had them as kind of a abundance guidance team for 2019. Lakshmi and Vishnu, um, if you want to do any research on them, if that's calling on your heartstrings, they're here in support though. Definitely supporting everyone who's calling in abundance for 2020. get older there oh shoot Debbie thank you hard time digesting makes sense he's eaten the same thing for like five years so all right okay so the angelic is literally coaching through me in this moment so we will welcome that Honest question for you. When you think about, consciously think about, on a scale from one to 10, your belief in your ability to manifest the thing that you have been thinking of since I asked, what are you calling in? Whether it's a sum of money or a thing we haven't dove into the emotion yet but let's be on peaceful and fun yeah <laughs> peaceful and fun at the same time the balance right what level of belief do you have in regards to your ability to manifest that hello mary welcome
on a scale from one to 10. You don't have to tell me, but tell yourself for sure, please. Your level of belief from one to 10. If it's one or two, no problem. It means you're going to stretch yourself. Does it mean it's impossible? No. Is it a bad sign that you don't believe it very much? Not at all. If it's a 10, awesome. Awesome. It doesn't matter. It just gives us a guidance as to how to bring it in. Laura says nine. Awesome. 10, Annette. Great. Seven, Allison. I'd like to send you all the vibes that we've been riding in the Trinity room this week. 10,000, Aaron said. Heck yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. 10. I would really love to send you guys just the high vibes that we have been riding in the areas of manifestation around here. It was a 10, but I've had some doubt as, as of late. That's okay. We can find why and we can clear that out. Um, I've had, let's see, two sessions this week. Like I said, Trinity facilitated one for me, but I've had two myself for others. <laughs> and they're powerful. Subconscious reprogramming and the breakthroughs that you witness in people are powerful. So in whatever capacity you're able to do that work, please do that work. Whether it's reaching out for me for the gift that we've created, whether it's joining us in premium group, uh, we are shifting the pricing in January quite a bit. It's valuable. We're learning a lot about value in the team this week too. And, and premium group will be this week too. But I think we're shifting it from $59 a month to $197 if I'm exact on the, the dollars at the end. I don't know if it's $199 or $195, but it's shifting. So if you're called to that, follow that call. Hello, Courtney, soul sister, good to see you. I hope you're doing well. <sighs> We're just dropping into the channel to draw these cards for tonight. I'm really loving convening as far as speaking to you all and, and just really coaching a bit tonight. I want to call in the, um, just the challenge to really look if, <laughs> if you, thank you Trini, she says valuable, yes, so valuable. Thank you ladies. It's powerful. We never knew what Trinity Room Premium was going to be when we started it. I started Trinity Room Premium thinking it was going to be extended card readings and it ended up being subconscious reprogramming. It, like group coaching, serious, serious group coaching if you're not in there yet. <laughs> For those of you who are, you have become true, true, true family. And we love you so much. All right. Ah, uh, cards are popping out. So I'll do some channeling. Mm-hmm, got it. Thank you. All right, so once again, Vishnu unlocks me here to support those who have abundance as their word for 2020. Can you believe it's 2020? All right. Here we go. First word here. Wow. Oh, oh my God, the little ring light, it makes a mess. The first card is passion. It's Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Mm. 
if only I, you guys could see the visuals. <laughs> so I saw, I saw, um, follow the breadcrumbs. And I saw, what is it? Is it, who is that? Hansel and Gretel? Is that Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> and I, and I'm saying in my head, follow the breadcrumbs, follow the breadcrumbs. And then what comes in is follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. And the message here is what is your Emerald city? What does your Emerald city look like? And are you willing to in 2020 follow the yellow brick road and face the challenges and, and face the wicked witch of the West and the flying monkeys and all of that stuff and go forth and find people on your path that need help and, and see their heart. And bring them aboard with what you're doing and pull them forward with you. And everybody wins together. And everybody's got the same des destination for a different purpose. And something that they're manifesting as their most important thing. And you're all going to the same place. And you're all going to make it there together. What is your Emerald City? <laughs> so this is hell yes. Yeah. And think of all the cool things. That movie's cool. That's always been, I mean, gosh, I haven't watched it for who knows how many 20 years, but it was always my favorite as a kid. Always. Think about the, the amnesia in the, in the beginning and all of the synchronicities and all of the same people and, right? I mean, I haven't analyzed it. I haven't gone in and analyzed it. I haven't watched, I'm sure there's YouTube analysis videos of the spiritual meaning behind all of that stuff. I would love to tear that apart, but just spur the moment here going, wow, that tornado, that created magic, right? And there are, there was betrayal in there, but it's all good. And it's all part of the process. Think about the underlying message like of the journey in that and meeting everyone that needed a different needed something new that had a personality trait that they wanted to heal right everyone's got to step into their purpose trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career That was your favorite too. I'm not surprised, Trinity. <laughs> what I was about to say a minute ago when I told you I was tearing up a little bit is that I cannot tell you enough how close to not stepping into my purpose I was. I cannot tell you six years I waited. It was 2019 that really changed everything. 2018 started it. 2019 changed everything. And my word for the year was transparency. And the only reason I wasn't stepping into my purpose was that I was afraid to be transparent about my past. And all of the triumphant, amazing, badass things that I had been through. But I was scared, super scared. So if anyone feels that way, I want you to know I love you so much. I support you so much. If my word was not transparency for the year, every single day, who knows? And I share because I know what it feels like to bottle that up. It's really, really painful sometimes. It's just really sad because you know you're giving up on yourself. And you know that because you're giving up on yourself, you're giving up on so many other people. And you come to a tipping point where you can't like do that anymore. You can't give up on the others. Sometimes it takes the others. And you never know the beauty of the things that are to come. You can never dream big enough to see the beauty of the things that are to come. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. I believe it, Lauren. So many people are there. Truth and honesty with yourself, Orpha says. Yes. Hello, Christine. 
Welcome. Thank you, Tabitha. Ah, thank you. I feel that deeply. Dolphy, we love you. Dolphy says, I'm still afraid, suffering through pain and a lot of emotional issues. Thank goodness that you're here and congrats to you for sharing that here. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. I hope you're well and happy holidays. Dolphy, we've got you. You're 10 steps ahead of the rest. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. <sighs> so, funny fact here. The next card we pulled last time I was live one week ago is You Are Safe. So I'm going to channel a little bit with this, but then I'm probably going to pull something else. Archangel Michael, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. <laughs> I love this. Laughy faces. It's so great. <laughs> oh, Dolphy, of course. She says, thank you for listening. Of course. Trinity says, for so many years, I was searching for what my purpose was, looking outside of myself, feeling I was close for so long, so painful, feeling blind or confused. So happy for the work I've done to get to the point I'm at even now. I have so much more to go, but I'm just happy. I'm just so happy to finally know now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you guys for listening, by the way. Thank you. It means a lot. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like Lauren invited Summer. Hello, wel welcome Summer. Happy to have you here. Need that feeling of safety. Exactly, Dolphy. Okay, you are safe. Spirit says to me, you are safe to navigate any which way you choose. If you're being called to do this or that, do this or that, you are safe to navigate this physical reality. Same goes for everyone here. And Spirit's very clear. Yes, there's not much more to say on this because there's cards in these Ascended Masters cards in my hand that are ready to be pulled. So we're doing a little extra tonight. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, did we pull this last week too? I think we pulled this, this is crazy. Counselor, I'll have to go back and look. But I do feel like we pulled this last week. Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Do you find that, um, I'm being called here to ask. Do you find yourself in a leadership role in your family? Crystal, you're a counselor? <laughs> Beautiful. Do you find yourself in these family times as someone that people come to, to share what they're going through or calling you for advice? I would love to know. Summer says, so funny you mentioned the Wizard of Oz. Been watching the last two weeks and resonated so much. Thank you. So blessed to have connected. Thanks for your courage and obedience to move past your fears. So excited to be connected. Thank you. Summer, something very divine here. Thank you. Please reach out. I would love to connect with you. Please, please reach out. Lisa loves the cards today. We're going to pull two from the Ascended Masters deck. and they came out right away. You're the go-to in your family. Tabitha, very cool because, uh, I, you know what? I'll be honest with you guys. A lot of you pop into my head at certain times when these questions come up and when these things come up and in premium when we're clearing blocks and stuff, sometimes 
you guys pop into my head and Tabitha, when I asked that question, I actually saw you. And I saw you convening with family for the holidays. And so it's fun, it's very funny. I'm very glad that you commented that. That's very cool. That's very, very cool. And how does that feel? Anyone who wants to turn the, that kind of, anyone who wants to be a coach or healer here, analyze what it feels like to be the go-to in your fam. Alethea says her too. I was thinking about you today. Let's see. Embracing the embracing the holiday showdown and just taking care of self. Awesome. I find myself the peacemaker counselor for everyone. It's hard for me to power my heart. My wait. I know that was a typo. Let's see if we can get it. I always know I have the answers. Oh, oh, to pour your Pour your heart out. It's hard for you to pour your heart out. They always know I have the answers. Lisa. Boundaries, my friend. If it is hard. If it is hard. <laughs> You're amazing. I used to be, but my immediate family has transitioned, so I now have my partner and son in my partner's family. I see. Allison. Reiki master. Beautiful. Well, thank you, love and light. Also, the go-to, but previously the sh in the shadows, but spirits calling me into the light. Summer, that's awesome. Going for my Reiki master. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, awesome. So let's see what these last two cards say. And let's see what the holiday message is. Feels good to guide in the right direction, Tabitha says. Oh, yes. One of the best feelings in the world. All right. We love this one. Lou, persistence. I believe we pulled him recently too. Persistence. Very lion-esque, isn't it? Cowardly lion. The balance, the opposite of the cowardly lion. Persistence, courage, compassion. Let's see what spirit has to say. Thank you, Lou, for joining us here today. Thank you, Lou. One bite at a time. Lou is showing me here. Most humans give up far too quickly. Shiny object, he says. <laughs> we have an idea. We feel it in our heart. We, we begin. Seeds don't grow as quickly as we wanted them to. We feel that we're off of our path. And we change it up. And we start something new. This is what Lou is saying about persistence. It takes courage to stay the course. And he also said, this is strange. I don't know if this is a term. You guys will have to tell me. Something about eating an elephant one bite at a time. Does anyone know what that is? <laughs> and I know that the energy behind it means you stay the course. You set something that you can do consistently every day and enjoy it, even if it's a tiny little bit at a time. And over time, it you've got exactly what you're trying to force into like two weeks that's not coming, right? Tasha says yes. Patience, young grasshopper. <laughs> so this is Setting something up that you can do every day and over time you've completed it. But no more of this like all in and all out and all over here and all out and then over here and out. Find what you really want as deep as you can inside your soul. What are you bringing in? I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Tabitha. <laughs> Ew, 
Michelle Silverstein. Hey, Haley, how are you doing? It's good to see you here. Persistence. It's got to be something that you love. One bite at a time. Great for 2020, especially with the abundance being called in. Summer says, yes, it's a saying. Good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> All right. Closing it out with this one. St. Francis. And follow your heart. And why do I feel like this came up recently? Yes, like carrying a thousand pounds, carry one pound at a time and you'll get there. Orpha says, have you ever tried eating an elephant all at once? Have you ever tried eating an elephant all at once? It basically means that by eating it one bite at a time, you'll eventually meet your goal. Thank you. All right. So. Okay. Let's see what following your heart means. And I'm going to get a little closer and I'm just going to close my eyes and channel. Follow your heart. St. Francis, speak through me, please, here in this moment now. Tell us what it is that we need to know, please. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you so much. Thank you for all the spiritual guidance that we've received in 2019. Thank you for all of the opportunity to step into purpose. Thank you for all of the courage that was called for. Thank you for all of the authenticity and heart. Thank you for the tenacity. Thank you for the reciprocity. Thank you for the ability to hold on even when times got tough. I think St. Francis is associated with animals. Thank you for bringing animals into our lives and the love that we have for them. Thank you for keeping them safe and happy and healthy. Thank you for reminding us to do our healing arts on our animals. Thank you for the way that they've blessed our lives and the way that we've blessed theirs. I remember now the last time this card was pulled and the same message has come up, you guys. Follow your heart and you'll never have to make a decision again. I feel like we've got all the cards of last week. It's very crazy. Follow your heart in each and every moment. Nothing can ever go wrong. I mean, it's all divine. Katie's here. Hello, Amy. Animals. This is going to go really deep, really fast. But I know you guys can handle it. And I know that you'll love it. And I'm going to share some insight that I got from that session with Trinity that I mentioned earlier. And it was in a different way, but it's coming back to me now. This is, it's a different topic. But the message is still the same. What's one of the reasons that we follow our heart? Are you ready for this? Deep end deep, okay? So that the universe can experience itself through you. Have you felt into the magic of who you are lately? this co-creative process with the universe with absolutely no boundaries. 
the most beautiful thing in the world. You being here is the most beautiful thing in the world. Hello, David. It's good to see you. I hope you're well. We just jumped off the deep end. We channeled a few cards. The replay will be great. I welcome anyone who's joining right now to go back and watch. But I knew something powerful would come through for tonight. This is our holiday special live. The sheer miracle of you is mind blowing. Thank you, Trinity. The universe experiencing itself through you. Follow your heart and go about your day. Navigate this physical reality as a soul-centered, heart-centered being that spreads love where they go. Yes, we all go through emotions. We all get upset about things. It's just duality. It's part of it. It's beautiful, beautiful, every single bit of it. So take a moment and feel into the gratitude for 2019, all of it, every single bit of it, because I promise you, even things that have slipped you up or tripped you up or held you back, they did so for a reason. And the sooner you find gratitude for all the things, the sooner you will find the reason. Aaron says, so beyond grateful for you, this room and everyone in it, the universe is so amazingly beautiful. Agreed. Thank you. And I just realized that this is the last live Mary, thank you. Yeah. Deep stuff. Deep, deep stuff. I love this life. I've said it before. I love this life so much. I just realized that this is the last time we will convene in this room for this decade. There are truly no words to express how grateful I am that this sacred space was created. I never knew who would come. I never knew who would resonate, who would share, who would, who would um, find value here. I never knew who, but it's all of you. And each of you are some of the most inspirational, loving, caring, grateful, honorable, just darn good people. <laughs> and I look forward to every time I get to convene with you. And I truly cannot express the amount of gratitude that I have for you. Truly cannot. But I trust that you feel it and that you know it. And I feel it back from you, absolutely. So with that, feel into gratitude for yourself in this moment, please. Take time every single day to feel into gratitude for you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for doing the work. Thank you for feeling the call. Thank you for trusting your gut. Thank you for following your intuition. And thank you for having the courage and belief to do the work, to keep coming back, and to keep dreaming, dreaming big. Right here with all of us in the Trinity Room. <laughs> Until next year. So much love to you. We'll see you next week.